What's up, YouTube? We back with another one. Hey. Make sure y'all see your tag. Y'all see it. Hmm? We getting in progress. It's still healing. It's still healing. Doing this thing. Still doing this thing. But y'all, today, we got our top 10 WNBA players. Of, I mean, players of all time. Sports Center. W, like I said, women in basketball do not get no acknowledgement for the hard work they do. They work 10 times harder than dudes in every sport. Dudes are just hand-fed, hand I mean spoon-fed, I'm being real. Like, you gotta realize, people like, girls work way harder. They, let me know, my mom gets paid less than my dad. And my dad, he works very hard. Both of them work very hard, don't get me wrong. But my dad, he works harder, but my mom, they don't get paid the same, even if they were doing the same job, if they get one treated like that, you know what I mean? It's always gonna be underpaid for women. It's like, I, I, some of the people were saying like the highest WNBA players like maybe three hundred thousand, maybe not even that much, like a hundred thousand. That's the average. My bad. I don't know what was the highest. I got to look into it. But I'm just saying they don't get acknowledgement like that, and it's really sick, sickening. Like we, I mean, some girls are could be possibly better than dudes. I just seen a girl destroy a dude one on one, and she's a girl. They just don't get compared the same for some reason. At number 10, 2016, game one of the WNBA Finals, Sparks and Lynx, game tied at 76, Elena Beard hitting the corner jumper at the buzzer, giving the Sparks the win. Please look at this again, so clutch. Hey, Beard had just two points before that making. That shit was hard, bro. She talking. That bitch hard, bro. I know she's feeling, she's liking that shit, replaying that shit in her head. The game winner, we got more from this series later. All right, number nine goes back to June of 2017. Diana Tarazi trying to break Tina Thompson's all-time scoring record. There it is, the bunny inside. Uh, and look at that, Kobe. Damn. Uh, and there it is, the bunny inside. Uh, that's Kobe, man. Kobe, that's pretty fucked up. Him and his daughter, that's sad, man. I feel so bad for their family. How would they ever repair? They can't repair, they, they heartbroken. That's cute, I said. And look at that, Kobe and a couple of his daughters were at the game. Tarazi, the only WNBA player to eclipse 8,000 points. At number eight, July 17, 2018, in her first season back in the WNBA after playing overseas for five years, Liz Cambage scored a WNBA single game record, 53 points. She'd go on to lead 53. the league in scoring that season. Number seven. I ain't know she had 53 points, but she even. Some dudes ain't never doing that. 53 points. God, I ain't never did that shit. Back to 2008, Candace Parker was a rookie. She became just the second WNBA player to dunk in a game. I'm going to show you the first one in just a minute, but Parker would dunk again in the Sparks' next game. She went on to become the only WNBA player to win both the MVP and Rookie of the Year in the same season. All right, so then at number six, David, May 27th, all the way back in 2013, her WNBA debut, Brittany Griner, she became the first WNBA player to dunk not once but twice in a game. And it only took Griner one bro, game. She'll probably dunk on me, bro. Ain't no probably she had give me that work. She a little boy my ass on everything. Ty Parker for most career dunks. We would assume she's she's thrown a few more down mm -hmm. since then. Uh, number five, 2015 finals. Game three, Lynx and Fever, Maya Moore. Drilling it. The three at the buzzer to give Minnesota the win. That shit was like Russell Westbrook with that shit. That shit was hard. That shit was hard, bro. That shit was hard. Minnesota went on to win the series in five games, their third title in five years for the Lynx. At number four, July 30th, 2002, Lisa Leslie. Becoming the first player in WNBA history to dunk in a game. One of the many achievements for Leslie, who would lead the Sparks to their second straight title that season. Number three, 2019 playoffs. The Aces against the Sky. Derricka Hamby intercepts the pass. And <laughs> you got it. 
from just inside half court puts the aces up one. Vegas won the single elimination game. I'm and sick as fuck that happened to me. I throw a turnover and that turnover. She make that lucky ass shot. I'd be sick to my stomach, man. Advance to the semifinals thanks to Hamby's heroics. Wow, what a play. Also play number two. Are you going back to the 2016 WNBA Finals game five? After Maya Moore put the links up by one in the wild. Oh, she got balance. She got balance. Will McKay hitting a put back hey. shot. Hey, it's an ace this third. With three she seconds left balance. to give the Sparks the lead. The Sparks would hang on to win their first WNBA title since 2002. Aw. Aw. <laughs> Number one. 1999 WNBA Finals, New York Liberty, Houston Comets, Teresa Weatherspoon from behind half court to give I'm the lucky as fuck. That was a lucky ass shot. Look at this shit. That was a lucky ass shot for sure. 99 WNBA Finals, New York Liberty, Houston Comets, Teresa Weatherspoon. That's good Weather defense too. Like, I'd be sick as a defense player, and she was playing good defense on her too. That's the crazy part. Weatherspoon from behind half court to give. The Liberty, the win, and keep the best of three series alive. You got a dog pile there after that shot from Weatherspoon. New York 18 come back the largest in WNBA finals history. Again, the season was supposed to start tomorrow. Best we could do is just offer you the time. I'm sorry that we had never be able to go to back to the crowd. Like regular. Like that. It's Corona shit, man. It's fucking everything up. That's why I started making YouTube channel. like, man. I ain't got nothing else to do, man. I'm poor. I react to videos every day. Why not just react to videos and record myself? I don't know if I'm going on my room. But, y'all, yeah, like the video, drop a like, subscribe. See y'all next video.